honor to be here. I'm thrilled. Uh, my parents hosted uh, uh, Brazilian students um, through uh, Rotary International uh, when I was a very young Rotary boy. And last night I Rotary. had the honor and, and thrill um, to meet up with one of those students you know, 35 years later. Years so it's a great thrill to be here. Depois, seja, Now, um speaking before lunch has a big disadvantage. So there is neuroscience research that's just come out that clearly shows that speaking gives the same pleasure as eating. And so in experimental research, people will give up food to speak about themselves. The problem is, is I get to speak and you're listening, so I'm never going to be hungry, but, but you might be hungry. And so I just want to, let's all come together and, and uh, not be hungry. Um, so if you get, you get hungry, talk to yourself about yourself. Um, my research, my presentation is more specific um, than our our first two speakers, and it is about the importance of physical activity outside of the school and um, in prediction of math and in relation to the results of mathematics and lecture. And so então, I have a couple just introductory comments. It, 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 it assumes all the things that we've talked about and, 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 and the why we're here. We're here because of human development and, human and, human and, human and, human and, and we happen to be speaking about sport because that's what we're interested in. Now, my interest is, is, is at home, my, home, my wife teaches our children in violin. Casa, uh, we're just as interested in culture as we are in sport. The reason we get to physical activity is why I'm saying now. The reason I'm interested in physical activity more so than music or the arts is because of, of the ability of physical activity to greatly reduce uh, disease states. So, you know, I can watch TV and laugh and have great enjoyment, but I won't get the same benefits to my heart if I'm physically active. And so with human potential, just as rhetorical questions, you know, how much is wasted? You know, and, and why, why do we waste? What are the reasons and the sources of that waste? And again, everybody in this room, it's easy. you're speaking to the converted, everybody's here because you don't want to have waste. here because you're interested in the development of children functional adults to people who contribute to society. Um, and sport has that ability. And there's, there's no question that it has the ability, if done properly, Dr. Hartman's comments, if it's done properly, it has, it has a great potential to make change. I can, I can, I can make somebody as bad as I want through sport if I choose to make them bad. But I can make somebody as great as I want if I choose to make, if I choose to make, if I choose to make a great program. And so, então, in America, though it, it, is a, it is a global é issue, uma in, global. in the workshop, it, workshop it was a great dialogue, uh, because um as, as, you know, know, as an American, que, como I have American, a different um, viewpoint, I have a different um culture. Vista, uh, culture. Uh, in, in America, what we do is we Estados test Unidos, ourselves to death. Nós, we nós test ourselves to see where we stand in the world, and when we're not number one, we're going to do something então, a gente vai fazer about it, and that's why we test, então, that's why we went to the moon. There's no real reason to go to the moon. We went because somebody started to go Mas... before us. Um, um, we haven't had any value, right? We haven't been back, right? We haven't been back. We haven't landed since. I had the videotape, very emotional. I was emotional. I, was I, was little, I, was, I was just born, and my parents had the black and white feel uh, landing on the moon, and I'm in a crib. We haven't been back since. It's, it's a, we're a goal-directed society. But the key aspect of the, the morning comments was that, you know, it is true. I mean, it is, it is without question that math and reading achievement have a global economic impact. If you can't you can't read, you can't do math, you can't go get a job, right? you can't advance society. And so it, it, because of all of our variety of interests and where we come from, it goes from the global all the way down to your community level. And so in this research that I'm present, the team that I work with, I, I'm, always, every, I'm sure we all are, I'm, um, 
It's great. I work with a great team of Temos people um at Texas Tech University. Pessoas, is that we were looking at large data sets also um about physical activity dados, being not, not more important than physical education, uh, but it, it, we, we we're looking for a way to show that what we do que o que is validated. É válido, because so Dr. Hartman física, indicated he wasn't going to mention a specific disse, country. I heard him say United States, North America at least three times. We don't. I wasn't counting, but uh, we don't do PE. Nós não we física. don't do it. We do sport Nós extremely well. Uh, we have high school bom. facilities, temos, uh, so children who are de, age 14 de, to uh, 18 will go to a high school with facilities greater than most countries tem, Olympic uh, facilities. Uh, and we don't just have one of those high schools. We have thousands of those high schools in every state that have pools, gyms, weight rooms, personal trainers, people very specific in technical skill. The problem, though, is is it greatly leaves out the children children who aren't sport, uh, who don't have a sporting background or interest in competitive sport, and that's a crying shame. Uh, my parents always say, I, I played some uh, international basketball, um, my parents always say that I wouldn't have made it if we, I was raised in a town of 4,000 people. Everybody was 5'9", so I was tall. <laughs> you know, I was, if, but if I had gone to one of these mega high schools, I would have been dumb at an early age because I was short. Um, and so we do that in the States. We dump people very quickly um, based on dreams, aspirations that are probably inappropriate. Well, they are inappropriate. Un unfortunately, uh, w as we'll see in the study, what, what's very vital to include is social economic status. You know, so how does that play a role into achievement and physical activity opportunities? And, and we know, we know, you know that it's going to be a variable that's important. And if it's the driver of the engine, then we have to make you know, interventions at the community level at that level first before, you know, before the, the global impact can be made. And so in these data, então, they, were, they started in the late 90s, and it's, uh, again, we're talking about Estamos children. Crianças, these data started with representing measures taken from their parents and then the child, the academic sobre, achievement scores, in kindergarten em, to predict de, achievement de, de, de four years crianças, later in fifth grade. De, de, so if, if something early on makes a difference então, later on, then obviously the important thing is to go, okay, we need to start early. Um, you can see the sample is, you know, that's a lot of people, you know, 3,000 uh, boys and girls in this group. And the variables that I'll discuss, I, those are the four main variables, socioeconomic status, physical activity, physical education, and prior academic achievement are going to be the predictors in the model to understand fifth academic achievement. I listed some websites that, that are they're American. Um, you know, international and the fact that these are, are uh, APA has a great website, the American Psychological Association, and the Center for Disease Control has you know, great resources um, written in a way that everybody can understand. And so why SES? Why socioeconomic status? I mean, what is it? So it's a combination of income, education level, and prestige. And so in America, the prestige one, you know, doctor, lawyer, um I don't know where the professor um, stands. Um, I don't, I don't make a lot of money. But you know, the, the doctor lawyer is way up there. Um, um, the, the, the person with a business degree uh, works in a business uh, An education level goes from professional degrees down to de, not completing high school. And income and, you know, income and education are global indicators, typically on your census reports that you find those. When we discussed in the workshop that because of socialized medicine in other places in the world, Uh, yeah, the, the, the prestige of a parent's occupation might be different in countries. In, in America, uh, a person who's a doctor always makes money. Médico, no way they don't. Não tem um, and so, so what's the reasoning então, of, of socioeconomic status? Why, is, why could that be the driver of the engine? It could be the driver because it really impacts education, poverty, and your health levels. And in America, and I'm, I'm sure this is global, it's, it's global, that Children with low SA, low, e, low SES in households, they develop academic skills slower, 
and then the, 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 some of those dramatic statistics are that so, uh, a low SES student entering high school, so grade in, in America that you'd be aged 14 or 15, you enter three years behind, and then when you leave, you're four years behind. And so you're at a great disadvantage to go to college. In, in, in America, you have to have a master's degree to get a job now. We have, we have so many colleges, so many people who, who have access to higher education, which is great, but it inflates the needs of, you know, so an, and a bachelor's degree isn't enough. Now you have to go on to the next level. And that, it costs money. It isn't free. Um, so it's a dramatic, it's a, it's, it's a very important variable. From health concerns, it's an interesting interaction. There's brand new data out just now that in America, children who are Caucasian actually at the younger ages, they are less obese. So the curve is, we've, we've, we've plateaued in America, and now we're going on the, on the downside. And that's, that's a great initial ins inspirational thing to see. And that crosses all levels of socioeconomic status for Caucasians. But for minorities, it doesn't. So they, they are still on the rise with And then if you compound that with being a low SES, the, the slope is even steeper. So it, it's a, it's a, it's a Bad combination. A, a curva é muito um, mais ampla. The the recreational facility As issue is, is a very tricky issue. É Low SES people, at least in America, have greater access to parks and facilities. The problem is those parks and facilities aren't used, so why aren't they used? Well, that's where the drug dealers are. That's where violence happens. So those, those places don't become safe. We have a, 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 I will talk about a program that I run in Lubbock, Texas, at the end. And no it's a great final. park. E é um parque, it is é um tremendous, parque, uh, the é muito climbing bom. things you can do. Uh, and so I, I take my son então, there. There in a soul there. Uh, I mean, I thought, well, I, I took him there because it would be fun to play with other people, right? You know, it's, it's fun to play. Crianças, né? It's, it's not a soul there after school. Crianças. So let's go to physical activity. It's obvious. We know all these facts. These are all facts. Right? These, are, these are facts that regular physical activity helps your overall physical, mental, and cognitive uh, resources, abilities, and then obviously it dramatically reduces your risk of chronic diseases. Um, in this study, in I'll studio, flip to the next slide. This, in this study, in studio, physical activity, again, outside of school, parents were asked about their do, child. Do, so how escola, frequent was their aerobic activity falar, compared to other children? How criança? many times Quantas in a week were they semana, breathing eles, rapidly eles for at least 20 minutes? And then 20 last, were they, did they participate in a sports team? And as we'll find out through the data, it's the sports team participation that's really driving these data. Because again, we we do, we do sports Porque teams very well. At the, it was very funny at the muitos, workshop. One of the nós, members, Brazilian members, had gone to the school in the United States, in Kentucky, where it's the home of basketball competitiveness. And he basquete. said his surprise was when e he showed up that if there were little kids out there, somebody was selling tickets and selling hot dogs. It's a darn right we were. That's what we do. That's we are. Sempre and so then the easy measures are então, how many times did you travel in physical education and then prior física, academic achievement we have, we have first grade academic achievement to look at fifth grade academic achievement física. and we have, we have tons of standardized scores that we entre as notas and and there's global, global uh, uh, global we all take. Uh, and so, então, let's see here, vamos I just ver. said that. Uh, so our outcome is, o nosso is academic resultado achievement, é a performance and so why? Because it, it's, it's, it's accessible, Porque it has é a meaning. Um, in the United, um, United States now, Stanford, Unidos, Harvard, Harvard, Stanford, Harvard, you know, it's, it's a big deal to take these international math and math and math and they map them globally with gross domestic product per capita, and we're all ashamed in America because we're 31st, and it predicts that we have about 2%, we have about 2% growth in America. Uh, in income, and that's not enough, right? De, uh, it, it seems low. Nesse, um, and, and the, the, the idea is if we increase our international math scores by 40 points per child in, in a decade, we will, we will not lose but gain a trillion dollars. So I think everybody very excited. <laughs> you know, I think, wow, I should go back to school and learn math. Um,